Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Well, today is part two of my Mattel PR box deboxing unboxing. Mattel was awesome enough to send me a box full of Barbies for their 60th anniversary Barbie celebration. Thank you so much, Mattel, for sending me the stuff. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. It feels so amazing to be noticed and validated by you, knowing that I love your product so much and that I have been um, such a proponent of Barbie here on my channel for the last three years. I'm super excited to share part two with you guys today. Last week, we took a look at gorgeous little rainbow sparkle Barbie here with her beautiful sparkling hair. And then we also took a look at beautiful sparkle lights mermaid Barbie here whose tail moves and lights up and it's so, so gorgeous. If you guys have not seen that video, make sure to click right up here and check it out. So today we're gonna take a look at two other dolls that came in the PR box. One is a fashion doll, uh, doll number 105. I have adored her since I saw her come out. Um, I think her hair is so freaking cute and I'm really excited to get in and see what she's all about. And then we have our beautiful You Can Be Anything uh, series. And this is the political candidate Barbie. She, I think, has uh, been out, coming out since 1991. There have been multiple iterations of her in 91, 99, 2008, and most recently 2011. Let's go ahead and get Miss 105 here opened up. I wonder if she has any other names other than 105. Mm, I'm thinking not. So this girl is designed by Judy Choi who is a fab designer at Mattel. I connected with her um, via Instagram after I reviewed her holiday Barbie from a couple of years ago. She's amazing, she's so sweet. The fact that they have managed to be so inclusive and just so fun and current and like following modern trends and contemporary fashion and you know adding street style into all of this, I'm so down for that. It's obviously not a department that I'm very good at and that I know much about. I kind of stick in a little bubble and do my own thing, but I absolutely adore this. So there's rubber bands all around. She's a plastic tied here at the feet and at the waist, easy to snip off. And then I believe her head is tacked in here as well. So let me go ahead and I'm trying to get a hold of her little head here. And then in three, we're gonna pop this off, okay? One, two, and three. Oh my God, her hair is so cute. Oh, yes, mama, work it out. Here is our sweet little Kirby Bay 105 in the Fashionistas collection, up close and personal, for you guys to get a better look at her darling little face. And look at this gorgeous hair. They really, really nail this texture just beautifully, right? Look at that. Oh my God, I am so excited to build some custom couture for her. If you guys remembered some time back, I had a beautiful um, curvy doll and this gorgeous kind of J-Lo complexion that I made a beautiful lace gown for. And I ended up auctioning her off and she now I think is happily living in Sweden or Norway with one of my awesome subscribers. But anyway, this girl is adorable. I'm loving this cut out dress here. Beautiful orange stripes going across on like a light pink background here. Um, love the big gold hoops that we see. Beautiful makeup as well, nice and soft. Here she is in the back. We see the cutouts traveling all the way down through her waist here. And scrolling down, we see her cute little shoes. She's very much in the like off-white world in that she has these cool high top sneakers on. I'm gonna go ahead and pop her little dress off here so that we can get a better look at that. However, I don't see any openings here. Judy girl, what are you doing to me? How do I get this off? Uh, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze it down through her shoulders here. Okay, there we go. It's a lot more um, flexible than I realized. Here is beautiful Curvy Barbie 105, up close and personal in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her darling little curvy physique. It's the same physique that I reviewed, gosh, like two and a half years ago when these dolls first came out. It's the same physique that I designed that beautiful lace cape gown for last year. Uh, adorable, and I love the skin complexion. It, again, I feel like we're twinning. Maybe just a little bit darker, but oh my goodness. Love, love, love. It's also the same face that we have seen in a lot of the curvy dolls before. Adorable, she has these beautiful gold hoops. Very soft, light, peachy makeup 
with really bright kind of pastel pink lips. Uh, they're not photographing as bright as they are in person, um, but all the same, beautiful kind of hazily brown eyes, gorgeous soft makeup with some liner there on the, her top lashes. Um, her top lash line rather and then beautiful brows as well. Her hair is just out of control beautiful It's super soft. It feels very much like real hair. Here are her little feet She does not have a manicure or a pedicure I don't think I've ever seen that on fashionista dolls, but that's fine if I end up customizing her Y'all know that I'm gonna give her one Adorable adorable and then here she is from the back. She does have the little printed panty here that says Barbie on it, all fashionista dolls do. And then last week we actually saw it in our Rainbow Sparkle doll as well. Here is her sweet little dress. It is very fashion forward indeed, very street style and very much has um, a contemporary trend to it. I'm loving these little cutout details here. It uh, reminds me a lot of what Max Azria did at Hervé Leger a couple of years ago, uh, Dorbs. A sweet little simple dress. Um, we see the interlock stitching here along the neckline and the sleeves to kind of give it a little bit of stretch and finish it off. The fabric is a little stretchy here on the lengthwise grain. Um, it's a poly blend fabric here, has like a nice sheen to it, meant to kind of be like a stretch silk, maybe like a little bit of a lycra almost. Um, yeah, possibly like a lycra. Uh, we see beautiful big orange bold stripes and pink stripes going on the horizontal grain there. Um, adorable, yeah. And then, you know, simple craftsmanship. The fashionista dolls are not meant to be like, you know, uber high fashion. Fashion forward, yes, and definitely more of a youth culture contemporary feel. Um, and so I appreciate it for what it is, and it's a sweet little dress. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at doll number two. This is Political Candidate. She is part of the You Can Be Anything Inspiring Girls and Boys collection. <laughs> I said this in my last video too, but this really is so fun. I don't really get a chance to interact with a lot of these dolls from the mainline collections. And I tell you what, I really adore them. I always stop and look at them when I'm at a store. It's a great reminder to me that Barbie is so many things to so many people now. And I know that I've said in a previous video that I feel like she's lost part of her identity. And I think when it comes to collector dolls, she has because the collector quality and just the collector general message, I think has kind of gotten a little convoluted. However, I think that Barbie as a company has done great in being able to come back and bring dolls back to the conversation and back to the table. Do you know what I mean? Especially with tech being such a big part of how kids uh, play these days. I think it's really cool that they have been able to be so instrumental in kind of recreating the message that playing with dolls and playing with actual objects is, is good for you. Thank you again to Mattel. I really am so excited and so honored that you guys sent me all these girls. Right away, I can tell you this girl's outfit feels quite lovely. A very nice fabric here on, on her skirt. She too is plasticed down at her waist and at her ankles here. So we're gonna go ahead and snip that off. She is also held down by a little uh, plastic texture at her head. So we're gonna go ahead and hold her down and pull that off, one, two, and three. She's actually rubber banded um, down so that her hair doesn't flop around everywhere, so that's smart. So if you are buying these for your kids or younger kids in general, the packaging is quite safe. Here is Political Candidate Barbie up close and personal for you guys to get a better look at her adorable little ensemble. I think Political Candidate is uh, very apropos for the times, shall we say. My brother-in-law <laughs> actually asked me why she isn't wearing a pantsuit, but in earlier iterations she was, so today she's wearing a skirt suit, a beautiful Chanel-inspired top here, if I do say so myself. Um, it has the impression of a beautiful boucle there, even though it's not really, but it kind of feels like it could be like a faux boucle, so that's adorable. We see some seaming detail here at the center. We see the little uh, faux pocket flaps here, three-quarter length sleeve that passes her little elbow there with a beautiful sweet round neckline here. And she has a sweet little uh, silver bracelet on here as well. It looks like it's gonna snap off pretty easily, so it's a little cuff. And then a really darling little high-waisted skirt here, high-waisted pencil skirt, very fitted to her in like a nice cotton twill, um, like a beautiful navy blue color, has a good texture to it. 
And then here in the back, we see the um, openings and closings of her ensemble there, um, a Velcro opening here at the top and the bottom, it looks like, is it one piece? No, two separate pieces, okay? And then we see a little slit there as well in her skirt. Scrolling down to her little shoes, there we go, little ankle strap stiletto pumps there. Not a super high heel, I feel like um, I remember these dolls not having the highest heel, but that's um, actually fine. You don't really want to be teetering around when you're a political candidate, but yeah, adorable. I have to say, when Mattel first connected with me, I didn't really believe it because I feel like for so many years I was like secretly trying to get their attention. Do you know what I mean? But like nothing ever really came of it. So the fact that they sent me this is a huge deal. Thank you again, Mattel. I am so excited, so grateful. And the fact that I get to interact with these levels of dolls that I don't generally get to interact with, um, you know, like I said earlier, just makes me feel um, a lot more appreciation for the brand as a whole. And it lets me see a whole different side to the dolls that I don't get to. So yeah, the Fashionista's collection as a whole, um, in my opinion, very simple construction, nothing super fancy. They really are meant for children of many different ages to kind of mix and match and play. So, you know, we're not gonna find like couture finishes here. We're not gonna find lining, but that's okay. I mean, we have to understand that that's what these dolls are all about, right? This is actually a really cute little skirt. I could see some of my other girls borrowing this. <laughs> here is political candidate Barbie up close and personal in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her darling little physique. Yeah, she definitely is the tall fashionista. Now I remember this very, very well. Um, so there she is. She has the little marked Barbie panty that's molded on just like so. Her right arm is bent slightly at an angle there. No manicure or pedicure. Um, that I can see, but that's generally standard for these dolls. Let's go ahead and take one of her little shoes off here so that we can confirm faux show. Yep, just like so. No petty, wah wah. She does also have really sweet little silver stud earrings on there that match her little bracelet, so that's a nice touch. Very conservative and professional, I appreciate that. Her makeup is also very soft and pretty. She has very light pink lips and a little bit of soft makeup there to kind of accentuate her features. Her brow color is a little interesting. Now her hair obviously is like jet black, but her brows are almost like an auburnish kind of color. Not entirely sure that I love that. I feel like I would have liked to see a little bit darker brown perhaps, not so much red, but there's also a lot of red in her eyes. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but yeah, there we go. You see that like on her bottom lash line? In terms of articulation, she does move her arm up, down, side to side and outward, just like so. Her right arm is slightly bent here. It does not um, move in terms of at the, sh at the elbow, but up, down, side to side, generally standard. And then her legs also move up, they move back, and then they kick to the side here just a little bit, just like that. No articulation at the knees or anything like that. And then she does have the little high-heeled foot mold. And then here she is from the back, just like so, standard little, tall Barbie body, adorable, right? Here's her sweet little Chanel inspired top. No openings in the front, but we do have one opening here in the back. It's a white Velcro opening. This is obviously where I would expect to see Velcro, so that does not shock me. The fabric itself is quite lovely. It feels like a faux boucle, and it actually looks very realistic up close. So I appreciate that actually, that it's not just like a print. Um, it's a red and white fabric yarn, and then we see black and white trim here um, at the center front at the neckline and the two pocket flaps. And here on the inside, we see the back side of the fabric. We see that very simple construction, but everything is done neatly here, so I appreciate that. Here's her darling little pencil skirt. It's very, very fitted to her in like a cotton twill fabric. Um, it feels quite lovely actually and has a nice texture to it. Nothing super fancy in terms of construction, no specific um, or separate waistband here, but the hem is finished off nicely as is the waistband. A little bit of Velcro here in the back to open and close the skirt, and then a slit here as well. The slit is actually really nicely finished off. So there we have it, you guys. This is the adorable 105 Fashionista, who I think is a relatively new addition to the Fashionista line. And then we have adorable political candidate from the You Can Do Anything collection 
uh, that Barbie does. Thank you again to Mattel for sending me this amazing PR box. I am so honored and so excited. Happy birthday, Barbie. I love you and adore you, as do all of my followers. If you are a parent and looking to add some new dolls to your kids' collection, boy or girl, um, I definitely think that they will adore them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Find me on Instagram. I'm at Suresh and Y. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, I'm not entirely sure what these two Barbies and I could do together. So we're just going to go to the park and have ice cream and be thankful that it is spring and that we're getting some nice weather here in Seattle. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Barbie and Barbie here in Seattle. Mwah! And we will see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.